Hello everyone, for today's video lecture we're going to be talking about the centroid of an area and calculating that via integration. Alright, so the centroid. Uh, the centroid of an area is the geometric center of that shape. Um, it's going to be a point in space, so we've got a triangle, that point there is going to mark the centroid, uh, and generally we're going to use the uh, letter C to indicate the centroid. Uh, so there's an equal amount of area to the left and right of that point. There's an equal amount of area above and below that point. Uh, that's what our, our geometric center means in this case. Uh, so it's used in various calculations and mechanics courses, uh, but for now you can think about it as the center of mass of a thin sheet of material uh, for that given shape. So if I had a triangular uh, piece of sheet metal, the center of mass, which we usually call G, would be at that same point. All right, so finding the centroid. Uh, the centroid of a 2D shape has an X and Y coordinate. Uh, so we need to solve for both of those pieces. So point C uh, is at X bar comma Y bar, that is the coordinates, uh, and X bar is gonna be the average X coordinate of the area, and then Y bar is gonna be the average Y coordinate of the area. So each piece of that X bar and Y bar, we have a calculation for each of those pieces. All right, so finding this via integration. All right, how do we find the average x-coordinate? Um, if we add a bunch of x-coordinates of various points, um, to find the average, we would simply sum up all the x-coordinates and then divide by the total number of points. So that's how averages work. Uh, so if I've got 10 coordinates, I take all of the x-coordinates, add all those together, divide by 10. Um, so we, if we treat the shape as a collection of small areas, uh, we can replace that sum with the first area moment integral. Uh, so that's gonna be, we're in, gonna be integrating the area uh, and we are going to be uh, doing area times distance. So it's the first moment integral there. And we're gonna replace the total number of points with the total area of our shape. Uh, so the moment integral calculation uh, is X bar is the integral over the area of X times DA uh, over the overall area. All right, so what does that indicate? Um, so the X bar uh, value, so we are gonna be integrating of the area, uh, and for X, we're gonna be going uh, from the left to the right, so X min to X max, we're gonna be moving along the X axis. So X min is the leftmost point, and X max is the rightmost point. So we're gonna be moving uh, between those two values. Um, and I've switched X and DA here, because DA is actually gonna be the more complex function. Uh, so dA is going to be the equation describing the height of the shape at any given value of x times dx. Uh, so dA is the rate of change of area. Uh, the rate of change of area as I'm moving left to right is basically the area of this rectangle that I have right here. And so dx is kind of the width of the rectangle, it's the rate at which it's moving, and then the height uh, would be the other piece. So the width times height is the area or the rate of change of area uh, for the shape as I move left to right. So it's gonna be a mathematical function describing the height of the shape at any given value of x. You need to figure that out uh, before you do the integration. So once you find out dA, you multiply that by x, uh, which is our variable, uh, so our, our distance, our x distance, um, and that gets integrated. So that first area moment integral is going to get divided by the total area of your shape. So figure out the total area, in this case the total area of the parabola here, uh, and that is gonna be the bottom part of your fraction there. So Y bar is gonna be very similar except we're moving along the Y axis. So the integral of this, we're gonna go from y min to y max, so whatever the bottom y coordinate is to whatever the top y coordinate is. Uh, it's gonna be a definite integral. Um, we are going to be, uh, again, doing dA, this time times y, uh, since we are moving in the y direction. And dA, as we move up, rather than being the height of the um, shape at any one value of x, it's gonna be the width of the shape at any one value of y. So you have to come up with a mathematical function that gives you the width at any given uh, kind of y value. And that mathematical function gets multiplied by y. We integrate that, uh, and then we are gonna divide again by the total area of the shape. So those are our equations 
uh, for all of this. It's gonna be the same kind of integral. We're gonna uh, be multiplying by x or y. The big thing in here is figuring out this dA function, uh, again, which is the equation for the height at any value of x, uh, for x bar, and then the width at any value of y for y bar. All right, so that's all we have for today's video lecture. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you again.